So, um, this is another uh, what if um, kind of video I wanted to do. Since there's not really any credible news coming out today, then again, you could argue a lot of uncredible news comes out all the time, but we're not here to talk about that. So as you can see in this video, uh, we're going to be talking about a what-if scenario of what if the Krogan existed in the Star Trek universe. This idea kind of popped in my head earlier today, and I was like, you know what? I really want to do this as a video. Let's let's get down. Uh, let's do it. Let's get down to this video. So this video. Uh, so this story. So this idea basically has what if the Krogan didn't exist in Mass Effect and just kind of existed in the in the Star Trek universe. So we take all the other stuff out of uh, Mass Effect and just have the Krogan here. So <laughs> the big thing of having the Krogan, first we got to talk about two big things regarding if the Krogan exists in the Star Trek universe, regard, depending on timeline. First, let's get this out of the way. That, the Klingons, they'd either like or hate them. And even if they did hate them, they'd still like them. Because the Krogans and the Klingons, I could see getting into multiple wars. Some of them, just for the hell of it. Like, really, the Klingons and the Krogans would uh, get into fights all the damn time. Like, they would just... Some of them for, like, legit wars over planets and, you know, colony worlds. Other times, they would just probably do it because why the fuck not? Like, they would just... They would have this whole m mindset of, yeah, the, you know, let's just fight over planets and stuff. It's totally fine. Now... Depending on... Uh, now, we get that out of the way, but honestly, the Klingons and Krogans... Actually, let's talk a little bit more about it. The Klingons and the Krogans would probably, like I said, be rivals, but I think there'd be a lot of respect between them. Like, I think they would see each other as, like, worthy adversaries for each other. Like, they would be um, warriors who would view the other as, like, a great fighter and, you know, another great race to, uh, to do battle with. Um, or, you know, battle against. Um, yeah. So the Klingons and Krogans would have a, like I said, a love-hate relationship between the two of them. Now let's talk about the Federation. Where do the Krogans stand on the Federation? Well, it took them forever to join, you know, the, uh, you know, the Alliance and whatever. So imagine how that's going to go with the Federation. If this was Kirk's timeline, I could see the Krogans really respecting uh, James T. Kirk. Like, Regard like where they stand, I think they'd have a lot of respect for Kirk. Like especially if like Rex met Kirk, like Rex would ha would absolutely enjoy uh, Kirk as like a, like he would view him as he views his, as he views Shepard. Um, he would more or less be like, <laughs> "You're all right, pink skin. You're all right." Because I think like um, Jane, you know, Kirk would no Kirk, and even I would say Pike, you know. It, Rex and the other Krogans would have a lot of respect for because those Kirk and uh, Kirk and Pike would um, definitely have like that kind of fighter fighting spirit and also like I could totally see Kirk and or Pike you know and Pike uh, throwing a punch to like get their attention like Rex is trying to get all the clans together on Tuchanka and um, he's like I don't got time for you human and then. Uh, Kirk and Pike would both be like, "You're gonna make time," and punch them in the face. Probably break their like, probably break their hands. But Rex would be like, <laughs> "You're funny," and then probably the two would get into a fist fight. But I think Rex would totally be down for them. Um, so the the Krogans would be kind of like the Krogans on a whole. I think would be willing to be neutral towards the Federation. Would they join the Federation? I think that's a strong. Po I think that's a possibility as long as they get something out of it, like I don't uh, like you know mineral rights and you know weapon you know help against. They wouldn't ask for help against the Klingons or the Romulans because I guarantee you the Krogans would start shit with the Romulans because they're and also the cart like the Krogans would start shit with the Klingons, the Romulans. Um, the Cardassians, the Dominion on a whole, like <laughs> that's how I, I view it. Like the Cro and also the alien races wouldn't start with it with Krogans. The Krogans would start it with them, um, and I think the Federation would be like talks between the Federation and, and the Krogans would probably take a while. Um, again, I imagine like Kirk, uh, Kirk in the Enterprise or Pike in the Enterprise would be the ones to be like the opening. Um, the opening door for that alliance. Now, how I kind of imagine 
Let's talk about another big thing um, regarding how the Krogans would interact with the Star Trek universe. We have to talk about the Genophage. Now, in this scenario, the Genophage wouldn't be a thing yet. But could the Genophage actually be made? Like, could the Genophage... Because the Krogans used to spawn like crazy. Like, Krogans spawn like crazy, and that's what made, you know, all the other races scared of them after the Rachni Wars. So, I think, like, that would be kind of a thing where the Krogans would be a vital asset against, like, the Dominion or um, Romulan or Kling or you know, depending on what era, the Klingons, but definitely the Romulans and Cardassians, uh, and the Dominion. Um, but the big thing is, obviously, like, them breeding like crazy. And then we come, you know, we cut back, you know, we, we go, it goes back to the whole thing of, like I said, with the Genophage. Could the Federation actually create, oh, could anyone, the Federation or any race, create the Genophage? Yeah. Would they? Maybe. But they'd make something worse. Like, they would... Like, you thought the genophage was bad. You don't even know what, bla like, black site shit the Federation is capable of. Like, they would probably make something... If the Krogan ever became a threat to the Federation, the Federation would make something that would make every other race go, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's too much. They would be thinking, genophage? Nah. We got something worse in mind. I think, like, any of those races I just listed... Well, maybe not the Klingons. Romulans and Cardassians in the Federation would probably be the three most that were capable of it. But the ethics of it would not... The Federation would be like, that's unethical. Like, so building something like the Genophage would be completely unethical. And while I'm sure they would have had something worse, they probably... Again, it goes down to ethics. And if the... And they wouldn't build anything to, to be like a weapon to use against a potential ally. The, in this scenario, the Krogan haven't done anything or declared war on the Federation. They're just kind of existing. If anything, the Federation of the Krogan are in this scenario are just like, eh, it's over there, fuck off. We, we don't want to talk to you. Like, in it, like, it is a, they won't even start thinking about building shit and talking about the ethics and morality of it until, like, the Krogan declare, if the Krogan ever declared war on the Federation itself. The same can't be said to, uh, for the Romulans and Cardassians. They, those motherfuckers would probably build something akin to the Genophage, only this time it would work a lot faster. Like, they would be cutting off the, gene, uh, the genetic bloodlines of Krogans. Probably, they'd probably build something like the Genophage that would work ten times worse and probably wipe out the Krogans in less than, uh, in like, 50 years tops. That's the science. I think people forget how, like, pseudo, uh, like how dangerous the science is in Star Trek weaponry. I think a lot of people forget that because it's not as flashy as like other um, science fiction universes weaponry. But it's terrifying. Like some of the stuff um, that the uh, some of the the a lot of the races could create is pretty hella terrifying. But yeah. I do see that the Federation, like, the Krogan would eventually be open to the idea of working with the Federation, but not being part of the Federation. Um, I could also see, like, if this was TNG, I think Rex would become friends with Picard. I think, like, he'd be like, I think he'd respect him, because even as an old man, he'd still try to fight. But um, I think, like, he'd respect him on, like, a philosophical level. Plus, I think, like, um, Rex would be like, you know... That Klingon you got on your bridge sounds a lot like my asshole brother. I don't like him. <laughs> but I t I also believe that Grunt and Re Grunt and Riker would be BFFs. I think Grunt and Riker would totally be, be the best friends. Like those two would get into shenanigans together. And I also see that Grunt and Worf would have like a friendly, like a friendly event. Like they'd try to kill each other the first time they met, and then eventually they become like, "You're all right for a Klingon." And you're all right for a walking toad. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's how I kind of see it. Like that's that's how I kind of see this whole scenario. But you guys tell me in the comments below. Um, you guys tell me in the comments below. Uh, what do you think it would be like if the Krogan existed in the Star Trek universe? Just comment below. Let me know. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say about this one. I'm always I love to talk about Mass Effect and Star Trek, so why not put the two videos together? 
anyway, so once again, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.